Hi, JDL Brushes here, and we have a new video. Um, this time we are working on an interior sketch, and uh, as you can see, I'm starting out with the shadows on multiply mode, and uh, I'm shading the sides of that table. And uh, since I'm not liter literally painting it or rendering in the shadows, I'm be being a little more deliberate in the, in the, uh, in how I delegate those marker strokes as a kind of design or aesthetic um, tool in themselves right because when I'm working when I'm working on the shadows I'm not actually just working on the literal shadows I'm working on really anything that deserves a dark stroke <laughs> so yeah and again um from the shadow face, shadow face, from the shadow face alone, you should already have a kind of um, interesting looking sketch, right? And um, you know what? Even before you actually start rendering in the shadows or colors and such, I think it's way more beneficial to have an actual solid line sketch in the very beginning and uh, not only should you have some kind of clarity when it comes to shapes um, but I think perspective um, is a place a very big role in how your end sketch will turn out and I've noticed that my more shittier sketches are really or do have some shit <laughs> perspectives um, line sketches or perspectives in the very initial line sketch and so it does contribute to that kind of ugly well not ugly but it, uh, it brings down your aesthetics right so yeah so make sure your shapes are clear when it comes to the line sketch um make sure that your perspective is also on point no pun intended <laughs> uh and yeah uh, that's for the line sketch and then for the shadows make sure that um you're deliberate with how you pick the positive space. In this case, the darker parts or the darker shades would be the positive space and then the white space would be the negative space. So be deliberate in how you, excuse me, to how you, in how you delegate those darker strokes. And then for the, um, colors um you could always use some kind of reference photo and simply color pick your colors which is fine um but i think the major point when it comes to colors is adding some variety you know not just having one solid color so maybe you can make a new layer on multiply mode and simply pick out the same color and by having by having that set up you can make two shades at the very least when it comes to your colors so just make sure you add some variety of uh, values when it comes to your colors and then to end add some white highlight details or um stuff to kind of finish up the sketch and make it look pretty so that is the marker brush pack for you folks and uh, 
whichever your art, whatever your tool, make it beautiful. Bye.